The 14-year-old Babe Ruth Pacific Northwest Regionals are in Roseburg this week. Jason Hink has a look at Oregon State champion team from Roseburg. The Roseburg 14-year-old Babe Ruth All-Stars are the Oregon State champs this year, and with the Umpqua Valley All-Stars playing as the host team at Legion Field, the Roseburg Stars will be playing in front of their hometown fans. The 13 guys, they all, they all do a great job. We have a strong pitching staff, deeper than I normally have. We've got, we probably go, well, we go nine deep in pitching. We probably pitch mainly five guys. Roseburg opens up on Saturday against Kennewick, Washington. They have a bye on Friday, the tourney's first day. The boys conditioned by running up this huge hill located next to the baseball diamonds at Sunshine Park. Our hitting is really well. Our fielding's very, pretty, really, really good, too. We've, we've um, progressed a whole lot since the end of the year. The team was one win away in last year's regionals, costing them a trip to the Nationals. This year, they want to change that. Uh, we made it to the championship game, but the uh, game before that, um, it was like a night training game, so we were pretty tired. We didn't play very well. It always takes uh, skill and also just a little luck. Um, I mean, with all the good teams that are going to be there, it's anybody's tournament, really. Um, we're just going to have to play our game just like everybody else is. Um, I think we hit the ball pretty good when we're on because we have a bunch of pretty big guys that can hit the ball pretty good. Uh, are actually returning state champions. They won it last year. And the core group of, uh, I said 13 here, 10 are returning from last year. So they, they all know each other pretty well. And just when you thought there was no more baseball left to see in Roseburg, the 14-year-old regional tournament will be at Legion Field starting this Friday, August 4th. I'm Jason Hink in Roseburg. Legion Memorial Field in Roseburg is alive with baseball despite the Legion season coming to an end last week. The 14-year-old Babe Ruth Pacific Northwest Regional kicked off today at Legion Field following a banquet at last night, uh, last night at Stewart Park Pavilion. Ten teams hailing from Oregon, Montana, Washington, Wyoming, Idaho, and Canadian provinces of Alberta and British Columbia are staying for six days in Roseburg to compete. The opening ceremonies were at noon today following the first game of the tournament. In it, uh, all 10 teams were announced and players were introduced, including two local all-star teams, Roseburg and Umpqua Valley. The North Oregon representative is Astoria. A special ceremony took place led by former Dr. Stewart's head coach Dan Withers to honor Pee Wee Kelly, a longtime coach and supporter of Babe Ruth baseball. Withers shared stories with the crowd and Kelly was presented with a plaque and a bat. Both the Canadian and the United States National Anthems were sung by Kay Anderson this morning. At the end of the ceremony, Calgary, the team from Alberta, presented a token gesture to the host team, Umpqua Valley. They gave each player a white cowboy hat. So far in the early games today, Calgary knocked off Butte, Montana in pool play 7-3. The afternoon game, Astoria whipped up on Torrington, Wyoming, by a 12 to nothing score, that game ended in five due to the 10 run rule. Both local teams, Roseburg and Umpqua Valley, have buys today. They'll start tomorrow. The 14-year-old Babe Ruth Northwest Regional Tournament continues. Here's Jason Hink with an update. Roseburg, the South Oregon State champ, in action against North Oregon State champion Astoria. With a tie ball game in the bottom of the sixth inning, Astoria, playing as the home team at Legion Field, takes the lead when number nine hitter Ricky Sarin dumps a single into right center field, scoring Cody Strickland. After a close call at second base during the same play, Roseburg coach David Farrington is tossed from the game after arguing the call. Then, a pickoff play when the catcher throws down to third, goes awry when the throw gets away. Mark Gallegos scores to make it 6-4 to four, Astoria. In the top of the seventh, Roseburg cuts it to one, Derek Priestley scoring on a wild pitch. But it's not enough as the North Oregon champ puts the game away and takes a 6-5 to five victory over the hometown boys from Roseburg and 14-year-old Babe Ruth. Meanwhile, the host team, Umpqua Valley, comes from behind to beat Butte Skyline, the Montana state champ, 8-5. to five. Both local teams will be in action through Tuesday, and the top four teams in the 10-team tournament will advance to the championship day on Wednesday. I'm Jason Hink in Roseburg. Thank you, Jason, for that report. So it looks like there's lots more baseball for you baseball fans. The 14-year-old Babe Ruth Regionals continue at Legion Field. Here's a look at some highlights tonight. Play continuing in Roseburg Monday with the host Umpqua Valley All-Stars taking on Lewiston, Idaho. 
Lewiston gets on the board in the top of the first. Tanner Hollingsworth scores to make it one nothing early on after the wild pitch. A few hitters later, it's Justin Podrowski bouncing a single to left field. That brings home the second run of the inning for the visitors. Trailing 5 nothing in the bottom of the third, Umpqua Valley cuts the lead as Caden McFarland scores on the wild pitch, and that makes it a four-run game. The host team cuts it to three in the fourth inning with another score off a wild pitch, but Lewiston able to hold on for an 8-4 to four victory over the host team, Umpqua Valley. Meanwhile, the Roseburg All-Stars improved to 2-1 and one with an 11-1 to one win over Fraser Valley of the British Columbia. Both local teams will be in action Tuesday at 4 and 7 o'clock. Roseburg's 14-year-old Babe Ruth All-Star team needed two wins today to win the regional tournament and advance to the World Series. Jason Hink has highlights from this morning's semifinal game against Lewiston. Lewiston, Idaho, and Roseburg going at it in the final four at Legion Field. Leading 4-1, to one, Roseburg tacks on to its lead. Roseburg pitcher Vince Ampey helps himself out at the plate. In the bottom of the fourth inning, he taps one to shortstop, beats out the throw. Mitch Huff comes in to score to make it 5-1 to one in favor of Roseburg. In the fifth inning, it's Huff again. This time he's at the plate, lining a single back up the middle to score. Derek Priestley and the hometown team leading it by five. Lewiston falls further behind in the sixth inning. Isaac Graham laying down the suicide squeeze bunt perfectly. That scores Jay Tubby, making it 7-1 to one Roseburg. Cameron Newell puts it away just moments later. A line drive to the right side. Lewiston's Justin Williams can't make the diving catch at second base. Two runners coming to score for Roseburg as they go on to win it 9-2. to two. Vince Ampey goes the distance on the hill, allowing two runs and seven innings of work to help Roseburg advance to the championship game tonight at 5.30 at Legion Field. Roseburg's 14-year-old Babe Ruth All-Star team made the championship game of the Northwest Regional Tournament in Roseburg. Jason Hink has some highlights. Roseburg one went away from the World Series, taking on Timberlake, Washington in the final game of the six-day tournament at Legion Memorial Field. With a two-run lead in the bottom of the fifth, Roseburg's Vince Ampey slaps this pitch down the right field line for an RBI to make it 6-3. to three. Next up, Isaac Graham bounced this pitch to right for a single, and the home team building its lead. Same inning, Gabe Forrester has a play. He singles to left. That scores Graham, and Roseburg takes a five-run lead into the final inning. Starting pitcher Brandon Jackson goes the distance, striking out the final batter to win the tournament with an 8-3 to three victory over Kennewick. Good, really good. Um, we were in the same spot last year, but this year we got it done. Um, yes, I did, because we've been talking about North Carolina since we lost last time, so we wanted it really bad. Well, our goal from the get-go was one game better than last year, and today was it. Yeah. One game better than last year. Now the, the rest is icing on the cake. Go out there and have a good time in North Carolina. Good group of kids. You can shot it. Roseburg will report to Wilson County, North Carolina on the 17th for the Babe Ruth World Series. I'm Jason Hink in Roseburg. Those are happy guys. That is so cool. They're going to the World Series in North Carolina, clear on the other side of the country. In just days, Roseburg's 14-year-old Babe Ruth All-Star team heads to the World Series in Wilson County, North Carolina. And this is the team after beating Kennewick, Washington in the championship final game of the six-day tournament at Legion Memorial Field, August 9th, 8-3. to three. There's a lot of excitement as the team works to raise money for its trip to Babe Ruth's biggest show. Uh, Roseburg, to our knowledge, has never had a team go to the World Series. Uh, Umpqua Valley did in 1981, so it's few and far between for our kids. This is pretty special. The team will have two days to get acclimated before the first game, scheduled for this Sunday. They'll play Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, before you find out if you go to the semifinals or not. Uh, strengths with this club uh, definitely have depth in pitching, a lot of defense, and uh, they hit the ball very well. What actually the game plan will be is, is actually win as many games as you can and, and do our best from there. He says they need to put a game together without errors in the field and the hitting needs to be timely. For now, the team's amped up about the upcoming games, and the community seems eager to help out 
wherever they can. The community has been great. Uh, horns are honking. Uh, a lot of dollars being raised in just this dollar drive since 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, it, it's been a great outpour. Uh, we're very appreciative of the community of Roseburg. Any donations are appreciated. You can drop off cash or checks at Clinton Newell Motors off Northeast Stevens in Roseburg.